What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. And right now, we're going to be talking about EA Sports just straight up playing with my emotions, bro. Because for some reason, I can't stop getting moss. Like, I'm going to have to go see a psychiatrist. Like, bro, what, what's wrong, G? All right, I've been getting moss uncontrollably. Like, all of us going to be just sitting in there just like, yo, can you uh, help us out, dude? Like, I am getting mossed uncontrollably and i really need help dude so look let me just explain to you guys why ea is playing with our emotions not only mine but yours too now look jalen ramsey right we we went out we got him he's the most feared card his numbers are pretty good the speed everything around the card is good i just want to let you guys see the numbers again so that we're on the same page it looks like he's somebody that can at least deal with the 6'8 Carmichael. I know it's a 7 inch difference, but what are you going to do? Go get Tyran Matthew, who's 4'2? Like, it's just not going to work, right? But look at what they did, though, which is kind of glitchy. They gave him mid zone for two with a man to man archetype. Usually it's three. They also gave him pick artists for one, and then deep route KO is another one for two. Now, let me explain to you why they play with my emotions, right? The deep out KO, the deep zone out KO is like the best ability to have on any player in the game right now. And the reason is most people know just throw the ball up in the air, right? And you're going to catch it. If he could have gotten this for one, it would have been good. Or if they would have gave him deep zone uh, KO, right? That would have probably worked. The problem is right now, like outside and inside shade, they don't help to drop the ball. Like it doesn't really matter. And remember this, this, this works. Pretty much for me, it looks like it works whether in man or zone, because it's just faster reactions to the cuts, right? So I, I've actually used it in a zone version and different things like that, and it looks like they still jump it in the zone type of uh, situations. But let me go back to that. I, I just wanted to show you uh, what I was talking about as far as um, the abilities go, because you really have to get discounted abilities to, to really work in this game. And it's really, really tough, because you can see right here with flat zone KO being three, because he's a man-to-man -man archetype, it, it really forces us to not want to utilize Jalen Ramsey in the game. And then what happens is you go back to Aeneas Williams, who's one foot four. And you know he's going to get mossed, but he might not. Because the ability itself knocks the ball out. You don't, guys, this, this is a pro tip that I want everyone to understand. Unless your, you, you know, your user is lurking, when they throw the ball in the air, as long as you have a KO, do not click on. Let the computer do it because the computer will knock the ball out themselves. This game is a very, very bad situation if you ever choose to click on. I'm letting you guys know that because I've been playing Madden a long time and there was a time when you had to strafe, you had to be ready to go, like you had to pick, you know what I'm saying? There was a lot of different things you had to do to be good at the game. Now it's not, just hold the button, all right? They, they made it like, you know, you unpack, you play, and that's it. The game is very bum friendly and you have to understand that in order to win most of your games, you're going to have to have a KO, all right? EA is playing with my emotions because there's not a lot of players that's going to be able to get these type of, you know, mid-zone KO type things. It's not going to work out. So that is a real problem because the only other thing we can possibly do right now, Glover Quinn gets deep out KO for one, but I don't believe he gets a corner um, secondary position. So what it does is it puts us in a really bad situation. I think what we could do though, is we could make Ronnie Lott a corner and then just put Quinn in at safety and then just switch him. Because other than the fact that, you know, Jalen Ramsey's 6'1 and he got those good numbers, it really doesn't matter. So that's what I'm thinking might be the more logical thing to do right now. Because again, Cromwell, beast, deep out KO, right? 6'1. Um, you know, he does everything he's supposed to do. It's working out for us. Jalen is a problem. J Jalen is a major, major problem. And everybody has to understand um, exactly what's going on within this, you know, within the time frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead right now. We're going to just get rid of Jalen Ramsey. I, I know it seems like, oh, yo, gee, what are you doing? But the KOs are really, really king. They are extremely, extremely good. Um, you know, you have to have these players on your team that get it for cheap because if you start overpaying or you don't have the right ability, it's going to really, really hurt you. And the one thing about the man coverage, right? If you know how to mix and match the coverages that you have, it really doesn't matter, you know, what type of man coverage you're running because one quick audible and you're done. You know what I'm saying? Like it's very, very simplistic. One quick audible and you are out of luck, bro. It's definitely over. So you're going to want to go ahead and focus on the players that get the deep out uh, zone KOs and stuff like that for a lot cheaper than what's available right now. So look, Jalen Ramsey, once he sells, 
we're going to be able to go ahead and complete what you know what's going on we're going to be able to complete that quin set right that's going to be like our goal right now we're going to complete that glover quin and then after that happens we are going to look to figure out what's going because ronnie lott is absolutely not going to play ronnie lott's not going to play we're going to use the other players and also remember we have the other um competitive player that's also going to be getting uh, we're going to be getting him very, very soon as well. So I want you guys to stay focused in that regard. That is very, very important. But I just want you guys to see his numbers. So he's six foot, 91 speed. He's going to go to 92 speed on a Legends theme team. And, you know, zone coverage is 94, man coverage 89. Maybe he'll get a boost in, in man coverage or whatever. I don't think his press is that good, right? His press is garbage. Well, 86. But it won't really matter. He's going to be playing corner for us. If he gets burnt deep with deep out KO, God bless him. You know what I'm saying? But he gets it for one, so that's what's going to be beneficial to us. Now, as far like I said, I don't believe he gets a cornerback uh, secondary position. So, like I said, whoever your safety is, you know, in our in our situation, Ronnie Lott does get that position, so we can easily swap them out, and then we'll do the changes. You know, when we actually go ahead and set our team, and then we'll know we have the deep out zone KOs. So if the ball is thrown anywhere near these guys, obviously they're going to go ahead and knock it out. All right, because EA Sports has been playing with our emotions for way too long, and we just can't continue to allow it to go on. It's just starting to get a little ridiculous. So we need to start figuring out, uh, you know, what's necessary uh, for the next move. So other than that, with the way the team is set up, Burt Jones, um, you know, that five for Fearless is another thing that's really, really annoying. Now I'm going to tell you this, right? Calvin Johnson with uh, Matchup Nightmare, it doesn't really matter. The dude still sucks. Like, he will still get dominated. Um, Harold Carmichael, even with deep out, he's going to drop the ball when a little tiny guy is around, you know, running around his ankles. It's a really bad situation. But what I want you guys to know is the matchup nightmare is much better if you use it, obviously, on a tight end than a wide receiver. All right? So, you know, the tight ends having matchup nightmare uh, definitely works. Um, I think having wide receiver apprentice is a very, very important thing. Um, you know within the game, but we're gonna have to figure out what other ability we're gonna run with them And another thing the mid out elite I don't know why that's three because nobody's gonna use it in the deep end like who deep in is garbage like it doesn't make any sense So there's a lot uh, Going on, you know in regards to this so matchup nightmare is out as far as uh, the wide receiver goes We're not gonna let EA keep robbing us the ability does not work consistently on wide receivers Okay, Kyle Pitts, he's been catching the ball for the most part, and he's been burning dudes uh, rather easily with that matchup nightmare. Uh, the reason that I'm pointing this out is we're going to be using Burt Jones up until we get Josh Allen. All right, so we have to be able to deal with a lot of what he's doing. So those are just some pointers I wanted to show you guys to keep you, know, keep you guys up to date. Deep out KO is the move. Get her done. You know what I'm saying, bro? Get that done. Let me know if you have any other questions, comments, whatever you want to add to the channel. I'll take a look at it, and we'll go from there. But don't let EA Sports play with your emotions, too. We can't have everybody. Like, they're just, just dangling us all around. Listen, enough is enough. Deep out KO. Let's start knocking them out. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. One love, y'all.